pretty cool moment getting ready to start hiking this morning. There's a deer right over there. He's in the tall grass over there. And Doug is waiting for me to get us down the trail. We'll do what we usually do. We'll take the trail in and then get off the trail as we get further back. And this is a pretty interesting trail. It goes from open to trees to open to a couple of different areas you can hike. Dog and I have hiked it many times. Lynn and I have hiked it many times. Dog's already down the trail. Right there. Sprayed him off, sprayed me off. We have to see some more wildlife since we've seen uh, deer and buffalo this morning. Buffalo in the opening part was right at the front of the trailhead, so that was pretty cool. Everything has just grown up since the last time we were back here. Crows back here aren't happy to see us coming through, but that's okay. We're not here to disturb anybody, just doing our hike. Seventy one degrees when we left out at five thirty this morning, which isn't too bad considering that the other day it was eighty one at six o'clock in the morning. It's gonna be hot next week. Hundreds, hundred and fours, hundred and sixes. Southwest Oklahoma can get pretty brutal in the summertime. These will be short hikes till the temperatures cool off a little bit. It's not good for dog to be out when it's in the hundreds, even though I pack in water. Some crows really not happy with us coming through this morning. That'd be pretty cool to hike up that area there. I wonder what we would see going that direction. We've never hiked that direction. Well, that brings in some thoughts on hiking that direction. I had an idea where we were gonna go today Butterfly fluttering off. I don't know, guys. There they are. That's some of what's making the noise. Even dogs looking off that direction. I say we cross the bridge because we are still on the hiking trail. Cross the little bridge here and maybe hang a right and go back off that way. And this looks really promising, really cool. Now I am shooting with the GoPro also. I 
I'm not proficient in it yet, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of the blocking or the uh, phone camera getting in the picture. Just remember, I am just learning. Dog, let's go this way. Okay. We're taking it off the road here. I do have my Scout to Hunt app on. Uh, I mean, I've just turned it on because I haven't used it on this new phone. So it's going to be interesting to see if it does its job like it did on the other phone. If you guys haven't tried Scout to Hunt, give it a shot. It has saved dogs and my beans a couple of times when we've gotten way too far back off in here. I do have my snake guards on. I do have my pistol with me. I sprayed dog off. I sprayed me off. Takes are pretty bad this year. Once again, I'm in tall grass with deadfall. So that ought to be interesting. Yeah, I know, I was blocking the GoPro. I gotta get the hang of that. The GoPro's to catch stuff I miss on the camera phone. What are you doing? He's doing is I'm the king of the Wichita stance. Surveying his countryside. Okay. Hey, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come here, let's do a quick comb through. Come here. Sit. Sit. Yesterday, everything seating. This thing, that ain't a hundred percent, but it's a hundred percent better, right? Water. You done with your water? I want another 
turkey, huh? Anyway, there's elk uh, tree line down there at the bottom. I pulled out the big camera and got some video and pictures. This is what we go through. This is off the trail. And the only way you can see some of the things that Dog and I see is to get up early and get out early and get off the freaking trail. This might be a good way to go down. Not as steep. It's rocky, but it's not with giant boulders. There's some elk droppings right there. So, animals have been using this to go up and down. So, we'll see. I can make it down. No dog can. Dog can make it pretty much anywhere. Okay, have a little water break. Have a little snack break. I think he's found some water. Yeah, it looks like he's found some water. Even though we just had water, drinking water is not the same thing as playing in the water for him. Everything's going to seed, so he's picking up a bunch of the little, what we call tic tacs with their seeds. So that's part of the reason why I combed him out. This helped eliminate some of that. Because he'll get calmed out again, of course, when he gets home. Oh, that stuff smells bad. He's going to stink. This is what I was talking about. When we don't get a lot of rain... You can just smell it. Up, oh, up. Oh. Let's go this way. Tog crass and deadfall again, so this will be interesting. Took me down the other day. It's been a good hike. Dogs had some fun.
seen some elk, seen some deer, seen a pretty good sized buck. The elk that we've seen this morning, of course the, the little ones, I can't tell if they're bulls or he's after something. Bulls or uh, cows, but that's a rolling area for a buffalo right there, which could be what he's after. There's another one right there. I don't really want him chasing buffalo, but got an elk. He, I mean, a deer. He's picked up a deer coming. Big old buck. And here he comes, right behind it. Well, that was pretty cool. Come on, right. And I just happened to have my video camera going. He'll never catch any of those. That's why I don't worry about him chasing them. And they usually don't turn to fight because it's easier for them to run away than it is for them to turn and maybe take on something that can kick their butt. That's a good dog right there. Let me tell you, that's a good dog right there. I don't have any cookies in my pocket or I'd give him one. I forgot to put some in my pocket, but he had cookies already. Those of you that's new to the channel, that's Dog. This is Dog's life. He's a four-year-old English Shepherd. And he is the best dog in the world. And he is the best shed dog in the lower 48 states. I'd put him up against any shed dog. Any shed dog except except for the dogs that do moose because he's never seen a moose antler he wouldn't even know what it looks like and i've seen them but i've never ever actually had one in my hands so guys like share subscribe give us a thumbs up you just seen oklahoma wildlife up close and personal with dog bringing it to me which what he that's what he does not as often as what i'd like but he does it often he is, he's amazing. He's just 100% amazing. So, for Dog's Life, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. That's Dog right there. Like, share, subscribe. We're up to 76 subscribers. We want to get to 100 before the middle to the end of summer. Here on out, it's hiking and camping videos. We hope you're enjoying them. We hope you guys take the time to to watch them and enjoy and comment. Tell us what you what you think. Like I said, you just seen him in action. That's my boy right there. That's me. That's me. That's the D O double G. It's the tracking dog. Till next time, guys, be safe.